from our investigation, they were communicating via social media and the internet. Uh, apparently, he had located her or found her on an advertised escort site. The two came to an abandoned lot on Old Covington Road in West Pleasant Ridge Saturday afternoon. Travis says Allen put up a fight against Wilson before she was fatally stabbed with a kitchen knife. Was looking for love. Maybe she was looking for it in the wrong places sometimes. She wasn't, that's not the type of person she was. She really and wasn't. that man took away the chance of me getting to know her better. Carol Allen, a 31-year-old woman from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, was struggling to make ends meet while raising her four kids. Despite her love for her children, it seems she resorted to prostitution out of desperation. This wasn't her dream, she had aspirations of working in the food industry, as proudly displayed on social media two years ago. But those plans failed, and she fell on hard times. Tragically, her decision to sell herself allegedly led to her untimely death. She crossed paths with Christopher Jerome Wilson, a despicably ruthless 25-year-old from Baker, Louisiana. His intentions? To kill her and steal her car. Carol's life was brutally snatched away by this heartless individual. Welcome to American Crime Femicide Channel. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for future uploads. The office was contacted by an uh, area resident that had uh, seen what appeared to be a male running, carrying his pants in his hand through his backyard. Travis says so far, the investigation has led them to believe Allen, who is from New Orleans, drove to meet a man potentially for a date. They came to this abandoned lot that neighbors say is a hot spot for suspicious activity. I'll see random vehicles pull up. Sometimes at night I see just a person standing there, but um, I don't really pay attention enough to see what they're doing. I kind of mind my own business. I mean, it does definitely cause for concern. Despite the family's denial, it's glaringly obvious from the police reports that Carol was involved in escort or prostitution work. Carol's rendezvous with Wilson wasn't some innocent meetup. They were texting each other all day, setting up their deadly encounter via social media. And if you bother to glance at Carol's social media profiles, you'll see a parade of men from all corners of the country, even some from beyond, showering her with attention. Witnesses reported suspicious activities around where Carol's lifeless body was discovered, sprawled in the back of her car. One witness even spotted Wilson fleeing the scene with his pants in hand. It's crystal clear they arranged to meet up for sex in Hammond, Louisiana, but Wilson had more sinister intentions. On April 27, as they sat in the backseat of Carol's car, Wilson didn't waste a moment before he viciously stabbed her multiple times and made his escape. Despite Carol's valiant effort to call for help, she succumbed to her injuries, bleeding out from the wounds inflicted by that merciless monster. As detectives sift through Carol's messages, their investigation is interrupted by a call for roadside assistance from someone claiming to be a cyclist in need of tire air. But deputies, sensing something awry, ran a check on the caller and discovered an outstanding warrant for a separate domestic battery charge. Wilson's rap sheet reads like a horror story. A history of violence, including armed robbery and attempted armed robbery, with female victims in his wake. Yet, he was still out there, lurking, until May 1st when he was finally apprehended. Now, he's facing charges of first-degree murder and armed robbery, rightfully behind bars in the Tangipahoa Parish Jail. But no amount of justice can erase the agony he inflicted on Carol and her family. Behind bars, the Tangibo Parish Sheriff's Office arrested a man they believe is responsibly is responsible for fatally stabbing a New Orleans mother of four. WDSU reporter Ariel Brumfield live with how the suspect was tracked down. Ariel. Well, Travers, our suspect is 25 year old Christopher Wilson. We're told he actually contacted deputies because he was in need of assistance on his low tire that he had on his bicycle yesterday afternoon. And he was more than 200 miles away from where that murder happened over the weekend. So why did you do it? Why did you take a mother from four children? I didn't do anything. This very moment, you see 25-year-old Christopher Wilson hiding his face as he now heads to jail in a meet. Tangipaho Parish Sheriff deputies say he is responsible for fatally stabbing 31-year-old Carol Allen, a mother of four from New Orleans. 
But how he was found? Officials say he's the one who called 911, but not to turn himself in. Uh, apparently he was on a bicycle 12 or 14 miles out of Natchitoches and contacted authorities over there requesting roadside assistance because he had a low tire on his bicycle and needed air in the tire. We learned the officer who responded to assist Wilson discovered a warrant for his arrest related to a domestic violence offense and contacted the Tangipahoe Sheriff's Office. We feel like the robbery was a motive. Uh, Wilson had previously been arrested in 2016 for an armed robbery and was convicted in 2018. Travis says Wilson met Allen online. He says the mother of four was a sex worker who drove to Hammond to meet Wilson. From our investigation, they were communicating via social media and the internet. Uh, apparently, he had located her or found her on an advertised escort site. The two came to an abandoned lot on Old Covington Road in West Pleasant Ridge Saturday afternoon. Travis says Allen put up a fight against Wilson before she was fatally stabbed with a kitchen knife. And Wilson is facing charges for first degree murder as well as armed robbery. Like, I don't feel like she deserved to die that way. I don't feel like she deserved to die that way. The family tonight, we're hearing from them. It's the family of the Baton Rouge woman. Investigators say was stabbed to death in Hammond. Good evening to you, friends, on this Friday. I'm Greg Merriweather here with Elizabeth Val. Tonight, the suspect in that case is in a tangible Paris jail. Dion Guillory has new details from the investigators and how the family is remembering her. Dion. Elizabeth, family members say Carol Allen had a big personality and a vivid imagination. They still have questions tonight about the events that led up to the mother of fourth death. They say all Allen wanted was to be loved. They were about a mother. She loved to dance. That's how family members remember Carol Allen. She was only 31 years old. Investigators say the mother of four was found stabbed four times in the back of her car in Hammond. Her family says she's from Baton Rouge, but split her time between here and New Orleans. Her death taking a toll on them. I haven't been really sleeping. Uh, I laid down for about 30 minutes a day. They say Allen's murder has also been hard on her mother, who lives in another state and still doesn't know how her daughter died. She wanted to get here to know how her daughter died because she said she can't get on the bus. Well, people, she don't know if she's going to want if they kill her daughter. I was scared to call her and let her know that they found the person. Detectives say that person is 25-year-old Christopher Wilson. He's from Baker. Investigators nabbed him in Natchitoches on Wednesday night. Deputies say he and Allen knew each other and the two planned a date. It's during that time they say Allen attempted to steal her car. They had a scuffle and investigators say that's when he started stabbing. She was looking for love. Maybe she was looking for it in the wrong places sometimes. She wasn't, that's not the type of person she was. She really and wasn't. that man took away the chance of me getting to know her better. We, we feel like tomorrow's coming, that we'll be here tomorrow. I'll see her later. I'll see her another time. A family but function. you never know. And now tonight, uh, Wilson is charged with first degree murder and armed robbery for the, uh, the accused of trying to steal her car as well. Oh. He is now in the Tangipahoe Parish Jail. It's infuriating to witness how the pandemic, coupled with the hardships of living in impoverished areas like Baton Rouge, has disproportionately affected black women, leaving them struggling financially. The rise of sex work, including escorting, among these women, even mothers, is a bitter consequence of these dire circumstances. And with platforms like OnlyFans glamorizing this industry, the dangers are often overlooked. But Carol's tragic story serves as a stark reminder of the grim reality behind the facade of glamour. Her death was entirely preventable, yet here we are, four children left motherless, forced to depend on relatives for support. Funeral arrangements remain unannounced, a testament to the chaos and heartache this tragedy has brought. Let this serve as a cautionary tale for anyone considering entering this dangerous line of work. The risks are real, and the consequences are devastating. As Carol's family grapples with their loss, let's keep them in our thoughts and prayers. May Carol Allen rest in peace, and may her memory be a catalyst for change in how we approach the issue of sex work and its dangers.